Hi everyone, it's Chen So from Reality Art Pod, here to talk about RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16, Episode 15, titled Lip Sync Lala Perusa Smackdown Reunited. Last week on Drag Race, the final four competed in a book branding challenge that saw Nymphia reading the competition and winning, and Q's chapter came to a close. I apologize for the delay for this video as I was away from my setup in Miami celebrating my birthday, but I was able to watch this live at a viewing party with the House of Love, and that was really fun and a great show. Also, Juicy Love will win Drag Race one day. If you liked the video, consider liking and subscribing, but but let's get into the episode. The eliminated queens are coming back to compete for the queen of She Done Already Had Herses. All of the queens return to the workroom, and this is the closest we'll get to a reunion this season. The only interesting thing that happens here is this. Maya, just for all time's sake, could you give us a little taste of share? I'm great. On the main stage, Rue introduces this as the new and improved main stage, which makes me feel like this could be the set moving forward. I hope this is true because it looks awesome and gives them more room to perform and have a better set design. Rue is wearing a gold number that would have been good for the fan runway because it's all folded up with a crumpled boob. They really phoned it in with this look though. Michelle is in animal print and looks very classic Michelle and TS is looking gorgeous in yellow. We're getting a lot of TS in the back half of this season and I'm not complaining. They bring back the girls and explain that it'll be a tournament style but because it's a weird number of queens the tournament brackets make no sense and it's only fair because the bracket order is picked randomly. They'll pull a ball at random and whoever's name is picked can pick their opponent. The opponent picks the song. The top three are there really just to spectate but they have some cool looks. Nymphia is in purple traditional prints and makeup. She has the best look of the three. Plain is in campy googly eye bodysuit with funny glasses, which is kind of both arts and crafty, and one of my favorite looks from her all season. Safira is in a seafoam green dress with a giant hat. You can't see her face, though I like the idea of a giant hat. This fabric and the color, it's hard to look at. Dawn's ball gets pulled first. Dawn decides to pick Amanda, who's her bestie. Dawn obviously knew she wasn't going to win this and has tweeted that she wanted to help her friend get ahead in the tournament and have fun with her while doing it. Amanda picks Damage by Danity Kane. Amanda's wearing a purple leotard with feather shoulders and her makeup and hair look immaculate. Dawn is wearing mixed patterns and this look is kind of a throwaway. It's obvious that Dawn doesn't want to really be there this episode, which is comical. Dawn makes it through the lip sync, but Amanda eats this up with the highlight being the floor work that even catches Plain's attention. And I don't want to be looking at Amanda because I don't like the way she looked, but I have no choice. <laughs> Amanda rightfully wins this lip sync. Q gets picked next and chooses Megami, who the other queens agree is the weakest. Megami picks What About by Janet Jackson. Megami's wearing a blue bodysuit. I don't love the bodysuit, especially the nude torso panel, and it's not really nude. There's some fit issues as well. Q's wearing a dance costume that is very her style. I don't really like the Ornacea headpiece. Both of these looks were not good to me. Megami sells the song and Q stomps around, so Megami is declared the winner of this round. On the way out, Q tears away to reveal pasties. That would have been really useful during the lip sync and shows she was pretty confident that she would have won this. Morphine is pulled next and picks Geneva, a rational pick. Geneva picks Million Dollar Baby by Ava Max. Geneva's wearing a frumpy, shiny robe that she's obviously going to tear away. Morphine, whose makeup looks so good, is in a black tuxedo dress. They get started and Geneva instantly tears away into a circusy dance costume which Dawn says is too early for a reveal and I agree. Morphine eats this up, duck walking in her tuxedo dress and then tearing it off to a nude bodysuit. Morphine also has a wig reveal that isn't really surprising but the red wig underneath is a lot better and Geneva does a split because of course she does. Morphine handily wins this round. Mirage is picked next and chooses Hershey who chooses Alone by Kim Petras and Nicki Minaj. Mirage who was my winner pick for this whole tournament is in purple and blue that matches her makeup and highlights. Hershey's in black leather. Hershey marches around and does a stiff booty pop, but Mirage really eats this. Mirage tears away into a nude bodysuit. I think she could have saved this reveal for a future lip sync, but go off girl. Mirage ends up winning the round. The next round is a three-way lip sync with the leftover queens, Maya, Plasma, and Tsunami. Maya gets to pick the song and she chooses Milkshake. Maya's wearing a hideous red gown. Plasma has on green and pink and matching wig and makeup. Tsunami is best dressed of the three in frills and pants. She is queen of pants. This round being three queens made it hard to focus on anyone. Maya unceremoniously walks to the back and takes off her dress. Now she's in a red corset. Plasma has a pretty successful wig reveal. Then Maya starts flipping and almost rolls over Plasma. Maya delivers on the flips and stunts, but Plasma definitely had a better lip sync. And you can cover me all you want, but Plasma did a better job embodying this song. Rue decides that Maya is the winner. Moving on to the next round, Amanda Tori is chosen and picks Megami. Megami chooses the Shoop Shoop song by Cher. 
Megami does a consistent share impression throughout, which entertains Rue and does a full blowjob simulation, which is something. Amanda does some share impression that's in and out, and for this lack of commitment, Megami is selected as the winner of the round. The next round is Mirage and Morphine. This was the first round where I was like, oh damn. Morphine picks Adana Summer Song. Morphine refers to Mirage as a video game middle boss. Morphine performs the song organically, and Mirage mimes every single lyric, so that gets kind of annoying. They both do a backbend at the same time, and Morphine does a running split and a slow split that put final nails in Mirage's coffin. Morphine wins the round. Megami gets John next, and she's in a tough spot because if she wants to win, she has to beat both of the remaining queens. She chooses Maya, sending Morphine to the final lip sync, and giving Megami a rematch against Maya, who sent her home originally, to We Got the Beat. Megami starts with miming guitar, and one thing about Rue is she loves when a queen mimes an instrument. The song is definitely not in Maya's wheelhouse, and she doesn't know what to do with herself for most of it, but Megami is giving Rue exactly what she wants. There's a moment when Maya jumps into a split, and Megami does a split with her fingers and rolls her eyes, implying that Maya is predictable, and it's really funny. So Megami moves on to the final round. In the final round, Megami and Morphine are performing Everybody Dance Now, which is the most random choice for the final song that I don't agree with. It should have been a banger lip sync song. Megami starts strong with googly eyes on her hand doing the rap bit, and it's giving Ubi and the Queen, but nothing compares to the amount of effort that Morphine is putting into this dance and lip sync. She's twerking across the stage and shakes her ass so hard she gives herself a round of applause, and mimes shotgunning the final boss Megami at the end, so Rue decides Morphine has earned the $50,000 cash chip, which I agree with, and she wins her first challenge of the season, how lovely. I really like this episode because I love a lip sync smackdown, but this was not a reunion. As the title would suggest, I don't even really like reunions, I think they're a lot of fluff, and would prefer they did this every season instead of that, though with a more traditional finale coming up next week, I do expect that to have a lot of fluff, and pretty much a reunion. With that said, Friday is the finale, let me know in the comments who you're rooting for to win the show. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. Until next time, have a nice week, bye!